The first decade of the 21st century brought unbelievable corporate corruption to the limelight. At the Government Accountability Project, GAP, we understood the importance of whistleblowers in these powerful industries. We've helped whistleblowers reveal scandal after scandal since 1977. When the Enron crisis occurred, the entire nation was shocked. There were hundreds of people that knew about the corruption of Enron throughout that company. And yet, only one person blew the whistle. The entire nation realized that we needed to have some kind of whistleblower protection. We needed to have corporate reform. From Enron in the early 2000s to the monumental catastrophe of Lehman Brothers, corporate giants are being recognized as the massively influential entities that they are. And more and more Americans are realizing they operate outside the realm of transparency. We realized, like all Americans, that banks had become too big to fail, too big to prosecute, too big to regulate. And yet, they had the power to crash not only our own economy, but the world's economy. But whistleblowers are always privy to what's really going on. Often they alone are the ones with the power to protect us all. But these truth tellers still face the threat of retaliation and hostility from powerful employers. There were thousands of people who knew about the wrongdoing at the banks leading up to the financial crisis, and there were only a handful of people who stepped forward and actually blew the whistle. And almost all of them were targeted by the banks uh, and fired and demoted and removed and isolated, and people weren't listening to them. And so what we did is we stepped in. GAP represents Eric Benartzi, a former vice president of Deutsche Bank in a retaliation claim against the financial juggernaut. He noticed irregularities in the bank's books. They were more successful than any other major bank. Benartzi exposed multi-billion dollar security violations at Deutsche Bank and made front page news across the world by revealing what was really going on. Had Lehman Brothers uh, done what uh, Deutsche Bank had done, they might have survived. Eileen Foster won a Ridenauer Prize for truth-telling after she exposed systemic fraud at mortgage provider Countrywide Financial, later bought by Bank of America. Michael Winston was a high-level executive at Countrywide before he discovered the reckless lending tactics being employed. These whistleblowers all eventually lost their jobs. Ben Artsy and Foster became GAP clients, and GAP has raised awareness of Winston's case. Since the financial crisis, there have been huge advancements to protect whistleblowers who report on financial wrongdoing. You, for the first time, have comprehensive whistleblower protection, state-of-the-art. Uh, the only problem is that workers don't know about it. We have developed a number of educational materials for financial whistleblowers. We have a website at bankwhistleblower.org. We have an 800 number for people to call to get more information. We have developed pamphlets to help people. And then in addition to that, we have an entire handbook uh, that tells you from A to Z how to blow the whistle. No corporate manager wants to hear bad news. No Wall Street boss wants short-term losses. But what if the alternative is a disaster on the scale of the Lehman Brothers collapse or the Madoff Ponzi scheme? Because at the end of the day, it makes sense to listen to whistleblowers. If you are a financial worker, you need to know your rights. And if your boss doesn't listen to you when you raise your concerns, come to the Government Accountability Project. We will.